people will most easily remember two parts of your presentation. Start and the finish. So you need a powerful way to close your presentation. Let's have a look at some of my favorites. I've grouped my examples of closers under three headings. Pathos, to focus on creating an emotion. Summary, to remind your audience what's most important. And calls to action, to tell them what they need to do next. But of course, with some creativity, you can adapt these ideas to almost any need that you have for closing your presentation. So how can you close with pathos? How can you inject some emotion into the very end of your presentation? Well, the first way, of course, is to tell a short story. Or better yet, finish a story that you started in your opener. It's called closing a loop. But by starting a story at the beginning of your presentation, then going through your presentation, almost ignoring that open loop, you can then close it at the end of the presentation to leave your audience with the satisfying feeling that what you started, you finished. Related to this, of course, is a personal anecdote. Or you could use a quotation that's well chosen to summarize what you said. You can directly summon up an emotional state but by telling your audience how you feel and inviting them to feel the same way. Or you can describe how your audience will feel once they've made a change, which you can reiterate with your call to action. You can ask a rhetorical question and then close with your answer. Or you can end by doing something unexpected and then explaining why. There are also plenty of ways that you can end your presentation with a summary. And perhaps the simplest is to make a simple three point summary. This and this and that. Or you can list the three main benefits or valuable applications of what you said in your presentation. You could make a counterpoint. I told you this rather than that. You could briefly restate the problem and then remind them of the solution. Or reiterate the key points that prove your argument. You can link back to your opening. You could make a simple, clear and definitive statement. Or you could transform your central idea into a snappy slogan. And let me give you three basic ways to create a call to action to close your presentation. First, you can give a simple instruction or maybe a series of steps. Second, you could use a conditional close. If this happens, then this needs to happen. Or if I do this, will you do that? Or if you do this, then I'll do that. Or you could lay down a challenge to your audience. And of course, it is possible to do all three in one, to evoke an emotion, to summarize your main points, and to give a call to action, a three part close. And a great way to do that is to repeat a key word or a key phrase in three consecutive sentences. It's been a pleasure to speak with you today. It's been a pleasure to put forward some important ideas. And I'm sure it will be a great pleasure to see the results this time next year. Please do give this video a like if you've enjoyed it or found it helpful. I'll be creating loads more 
great management courses for you. So please do subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of them. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And in the meantime, keep learning.